Guitar time, this begins my, my lecture series. Uh, I'm going to have little raps and maybe demonstrate some little things. Uh, I hope you don't mind that intro. It was just to kind of mellow you down and and do a little thing in a key of E major. I was using E major and just simply A major chords for something mellow to set the mood. And that's what's so great about uh, music and knowing about chords and uh, theory and knowledge and styles that you're going to study guitar. But I thought with this first one, I should just kind of uh, clue you in on what I'm gonna be talking about in some of the lectures coming up. This is like, I, I call it guitar time philosophy. It's also, uh, well, it's a way to get ideas and think. And I wanna give you key words today uh, some of the phrases that you'll hear me talk about. And you'll hear me use these phrases in a lot of the lessons because this has to do with the psychology and the neurosciences I've learned a little bit about. And I continue to always study about the, uh, actually the, how the mind works and how we learn and how music affects our mind and our thinking and our moods and our emotion. So, Here's some of the words that uh, I like a lot. Uh, I like to use the word adventure. You're going to hear me use that word probably quite often. Because I look at learning guitar is really like an adventure. Uh, it is an adventure. And to look at it as an adventure to make discoveries is really, really wonderful. Uh, I think that when you are mindful, this is another word you'll hear me use a, a lot, quite often, being mindful. When you're mindful that, okay, I'm going to practice today. I'm going to work diligently, another great word, on what um, I need to be working on or what I think I need to be working on. But I'm also going to spend some time really taking some adventures with some of the chords I use or scales I'm using, arpeggios, some of the elements, maybe the song I'm working on or this progression I'm playing. So you work on really what what is the lesson that maybe you have to prepare for me or someone else, but then you, 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 you might deviate from that. You might go, well, I'm just going to work with this today. I feel like just jamming on this and, and working on this. So you go on an adventure. And what happens on adventures? You make discoveries. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a great way of learning. Um, because when you make discoveries, you then have questions for me or you have questions that you need to find answers to. And this is how you become not only a better musician, a guitarist, but maybe better in life, maybe a, a better thinking person, you know, a person that reasons. So that leads me to the words of uh, accuracy. Well, do we want to be accurate? Yeah, we like to be accurate in life. We like to make good decisions. We like to rationally reason to make good decisions. Rationally reason our practice time, our practice routine. Are we just go flying by the seat of our pants? Or are we, do we have a, uh, maybe a outline in front of us that these are the things I need to work on today? That works for some people, it really does. Uh, but also, I just want to uh, 
actually work on my accuracy, you know, like applying it to scales, to arpeggios, to riffs I've learned, to chords that I'm working on, uh, chord switching when you're a beginner, getting from chord to chord. How can I, I like this word too, finagle. How can I finagle my finger placement to make this chord work? Is there an issue going on with my thumb or my hand in playing a chord? Is it with my right hand, something I'm doing wrong here? Maybe a combination of both. So accuracy is a really good thing that we shoot for. And accuracy involves another word I like to use. A key word would be challenge. Yes, there are challenges in life. But to be a good musician, to be a good guitarist, or a great guitarist, it's a challenge. What are the challenges? You have to find out what your challenges are. When you're a beginner, there are certain challenges that are in the fundamentals of learning, building a foundation, I talk about. And so that you can start to learn about the guitar theory, the geography of the fretboard, the nuances, the colorations, all that type of thing. Uh, so that's maybe the challenge. What is the challenge? What is the challenge today when you practice? What is your challenge for tomorrow? What is your challenge weekly, monthly, yearly? What goals am I setting? What am I hoping to attain? What am I working for? Uh, maybe it's you've heard someone else play or you watched a video and you're challenged, wow, I want to be able to do that. Well, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to work to be able to play like that or to get this song, to learn this song or to learn this technique. Techniques, yes, are always a challenge. To get your fingers to play right, your finger placement. There's challenges all the time. So we have to be aware and mindful and maybe use that word challenge to help us with our practicing. Well, here's another word for you. Commitment. I think it's a wonderful word because are we committed to things in life? Of course we are. If you're a family person, you're committed to your family, your wife, your friend, friends maybe, your loved ones, your family. There are commitments. Commitments at your day job, your work, your line of work, uh, whatever your profession is, whatever your career is. So we make commitments and we break commitments. But if you have made a commitment for the challenge of attaining your goals as a musician, a guitar player, well, the commitment involves that we need to be mindful of what's going to keep us on course. Because if we deviate too much, then we can fall off into uh, uh, or take a path that leads us away from attaining our goals. And it happens a lot. You just have to sometimes catch yourself. Sometimes you won't, and you'll go down the wrong path for a while and go, wow, I, I should have gone that way. Um, so I made a commitment to do the right thing, so I have to get back on course again. <laughs> so commitment, I like that word. Commitment. I'm making a commitment to reach certain goals this month, this year, and the next years. I have a commitment to do this. I've made a commitment to be as good as guitar player, musician as I can. I've made a commitment to be mindful and to work on how I learn and how I achieve success. Right. Commitments and relationships. Maybe you're not married. Maybe it's girls. Maybe a girlfriend. Commitments. We have commitments to people. Commitments to our family. And stuff. So I like that word, commitment. Oh boy, concentration. Yeah. Concentration. The things that can break our concentration. Our mind likes to wander. It's what happens. But to keep concentration, to keep focused. <laughs> Great word, focused. How do we do that? Well, 
I might have other lectures on this up the road. And with a lot of these words I'm giving you today, these key phrases, uh, guitar time philosophy words, our key words here, we'll actually go into deeper, but focusing, concentration, how do we do that? How do we maintain our focus and our concentration? When can? How do we realize when we're getting off the track? And we're getting off the track, I often said, hey, you can cause a train wreck. You, you, all these people are depending on your safety. We have to be concentrated. We have to be focused. And that's a good thing. That's an art in itself, learning to do that, to be mindful enough to go, wow, I need to keep concentrated on this because guitar is too easy to go and start fooling around and and uh, just uh, diddle-daddle. I like to, <laughs> there's a great word, diddle-daddle. I think I maybe made that one up. You diddle-daddle. Well, you just start clowning around, and uh, you're not really working on the lesson anymore. You're just kind of, that's good to maybe an extent, but you got to realize you're doing that, that you're in your diddle-daddle time, you know?